What's up, everybody? Please, please just let me get the Gus card. 40k used and still nothing. This is my last two five pulls. Durla, come on. Let's go to the merchant, get that last 500. Snatched it up. Okay, here we go. Last five pull. I feel it. Nasty boy Gus. This is the one. Back at it again with another Magnum Quest video. And in this one, I'm finally covering the Arcane Impression Card system. Um, I wanted to wait a bit, uh, do some testing, talk with some other high-level players before diving into this. I've got lots of info to share. Let's get it. <laughs> Timestamps will be available in the video description. All right, so first up, what is the Arcane Impression Card system? Uh, you can skip ahead to the next topic if you're already familiar with this. Um, so if we click on the album right here, it brings up all the cards in the game right now. There is a total of 62 and they vary in rarity. Um, you have your common, which is the gray, your uncommon, which is I guess you could call it gold, and then your rare, which is the red. Um, all cards can be leveled up to level 5. After level 5 with that card, it's going to be done. Um, you can then recycle it for a really poorly thought out 50 dust. As of right now, I don't know if it changes from the uncommon to the rare, but uh, for the common cards, it's 50 dust. Uh, it's very little. Um, I really hope they rethink this because 50 dust when one card pull is 500. That's a bit of a yikes moment right there. Um, I won't say much more about this because the community has already been like being very vocal. It's constantly being suggested in the Magnum Quest Discord suggestions channel. Uh, that was a bit of a tongue twister. Uh, so devs, if you are listening, please adjust this. Um, I would honestly hold off on recycling any cards in this case. Um, I'm sure they would compensate if they do change this, but you just never know. In case you were wondering, you need two duplicate cards to go from level one to level two. Um, then four duplicate cards to go from level two to level three. Um, and then eight duplicate cards to go from level three to level four. And then finally, 16 duplicate cards to go from level four to level five. Uh, bringing the total to max one card is 31 duplicates. Um, so you can only imagine how long this is going to take or how much money it's going to take for the uncommon slash rare cards. So it's definitely a good thing that the cards at level one make a difference. Now just remember, when you level up an uncommon or rare card, this doesn't include the common, meaning the gray, uh, to level 3, it unlocks an additional stat. Um, so if we look at the Ilya card here, um, you're going to see at level 3, it adds all allies damage output is raised further by 9%. So now you have the base, which is 18, plus 9, so now you have 27% damage. Um, and then it simply gets increased in value when you level that card up further. But then it also gets a little tricky, because you can see here at level 4, it doesn't, uh, it stays the same value, which is 9, but when you finish the card at level 5, it boosts up to 12. So yeah, it's a little bit uh, interesting there. Um, I find for the investment needed to get the cards to summon, uh, depending on your luck, level 1 to 2 is not a big deal. Um, having just the base card at level 1 is a decent enough improvement, which is also good for free to play and low spenders. Or spenders like myself and you just have really, really bad luck. The big spike you're going to be getting is like I said at level 3, but that's going to take time, money, or luck. Um, now, how do you identify these cards? Meaning like what class, what combat, because some you can only use in PvP, some PvE, but only on bosses, etc. So before I do this, if you go to the top right scene here, um, I guess this is like a flashlight icon, you can narrow down your results to make it easier. The faction part isn't a big deal right now, there's no limitations to this, but the class type, like warrior, guard, hunter, this is important. Uh, the reason for this is if we head over to the actual arcane card summons, you can see at the bottom left here, it says your chance at acquiring said class um, arcane impression card is raised by a specific percentage. This is going to be how you target cards, kind of like the faction summons with heroes. Um, however, the difference is you're not guaranteed all those class type cards. Uh, the chances are only increased. Um, if you're wondering about the rotation, I'll put it on the screen right now. Uh, Monday is going to be a 400% increase to the warrior. Tuesday is going to be a 400% increase to the guard. Wednesday is going to be a 400% increase to hunter. Uh, Thursday is going to be a 400% increase to rogue. Friday is going to be a 400% increase to mage. Saturday is going to be a 400% increase to priest. And then finally you have Sunday. Um, it's going to be a 100% increase to rare. So this information is going to help you get prepared or save um, just so you know what card you're looking for on what day is going to have an increased chance. Um, also, there is a pity counter in the summon system. So like normal in faction summons, you have 30 for a guaranteed gold hero. Dragon summons, you have 60 for a guaranteed hero. 
Um, for this system, you're going to have 10 for a guaranteed uncommon, so that's going to be a gold card, and then 60 for a guaranteed rare card, so that's going to be the red card. Um, this means every two five pulls, because that's the most you can do, it's not like 10 for the hero summons, you're going to be guaranteed an uncommon card. Um, if you don't get a rare within 59 card pulls, the 60th is going to be a rare. If you wanted to see the rates um, or the cards that have an increased chance, you can click this information button seen here. One last thing to mention is after 200 arcane card summons, you're going to be able to get a mirroring impression card. Um, this is basically the same idea as the wish card from the regular summons. Uh, you can use this to take uh, the form of any card you want so you can level it up regardless of rarity. It's super valuable and I would definitely hold on to this right now until you get to know exactly the card you want to focus. Um, I personally would suggest only using this for levels 2 to 3 because that's when you get that extra stat and extra value um, for your card. Um, then the attack type is also important because you have attack, defense, and support. This is not exactly what they're called but this is just what I'm going to call them. Uh, now, currently, you can only add a total of three cards in battle. If you can't do three, I think it's because there's chapter limitations, so you just need to progress to unlock them. You can see here, I can only add one of each type. Um, if I try to add another attack type card in the other slots, it won't let me. Uh, so one attack, one defense, and one support. Um, it says it right here in case you were wondering. Um, and then finally, the combat type. This means PvP. Um, and this one means bosses. Um, there doesn't seem to have a separate icon for the rest of PvE, not including bosses, which is a little bit interesting here. Um, I feel like it would make things easier for organization when trying to browse through them. So let's use this card as an example. Um, so right here, the Uncommon Sinia card. Um, if you click the class type, so this card is a Priest card. Um, if you're looking for this, it makes sense to wait till Saturday for that increased chance. Um, then this icon here. Uh, means she is a support, so that takes up that slot, and then you would be now looking for an attack and defense. Um, there is no PvP or boss icon, so this means she can be used everywhere. If we check out the Sinia rare card, um, you can see it's still a priest card, but now this takes the slot of a defense. And there is also a PvP icon, meaning you can only use this card during PvP. It won't allow you to add this during PvE. Moving on to the next part is how do I obtain this arcane dust? Um, right now at this time of the video there is currently three ways. Um, the first way is from the shop scene here. Uh, typically what I've been doing is buying the dust for gold and then the dust for shards. Um, so you have two options to choose from. This is also another huge reason why gold is a major problem in this game. Uh, you simply cannot add more features into the game that also demand gold when there was already an issue with the gold shortage. Um, it just doesn't make sense. Um, so yeah, this first purchase will be your best discount, and then if you refresh the shop like this, you can see the discount gets less and less. I typically buy around 2,500 total arcane dust a day from here, um, sometimes 3k like this, but not very often because the shards just start to ramp up. Um, eventually I'll run out of resources, most likely gold being the first. Um, I try to only buy these star map resources um, for the hero I'm currently working on. Um, barrel I've just completely given up on buying because it's just too expensive for everything so I just strictly been getting it from the trial order. For the second way uh, let's head over to the merchant. Uh, this daily deal right here is your best value. I believe this is five dollars US and you get 2k arcane dust. Not the greatest but it's still the best value you can get. You can also go into the weekly and the monthly to see those offers. It's up to you. Um, this also gives you a hammer and because they reworked the ultimate prizes to uh, seen here it makes it even more worth it in my opinion because clicking on these purifying stones, you can choose the rune stat materials you want. Still, I 100% think this is designed so you never are able to get those three ultimate prizes before breaking all the eggs. Um, I really don't think it's random, which is very greedy because I've never seen one player get all three prizes without smashing all the eggs. Uh, comment down below if you have, I would honestly be definitely interested in knowing this. Um, and then finally, the third way is through achievements. Um, if you go to your missions, then campaign, you can see here the Arcane Dust achievement. You have to activate so and so many cards in the impression card album. Um, so hopefully I covered everything right here. If I missed anything of importance, be sure to leave a comment to help out others in the Magnum Quest community. Um, as always, thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe for future videos, and stay tuned for the next one.